Hey, this is Lady TJ here, coming to you again uh, with another little video about jealousy. Jealousy is one of those things that we, we tend to overlook ourselves thinking that we are not jealous or we're not jealous of anybody or, you know, what have you. The, te the question of the day is, how do, you, how do you deal with jealousy? How do you deal with jealousy? One of the things that I've learned um, about jealousy is, and how I deal with it, is recognize, and this this takes a process, so it's not like, okay, this is how you're going to deal with it, and it's going to go away. It doesn't work like that. But my process is I've learned to examine myself. I've taken these steps lately, and I think I processed this stuff last year when I was talking about transforming myself from the inside out. And one of the things was to look at myself and wonder and ask myself, why do I feel this way? Why did I feel this way about this person or that person or what have you? And I have to go back and deep and then I go and research. My research is my Holy Bible, my Holy Bible. I got, I actually, let me tell you, I, I have my Holy, <laughs> my Holy Bible. It actually is, is my study guide in into tr retransforming myself. Um, can you say retransforming? I don't know. But transforming myself into... Um, a better Christian woman than, than I was yesterday or the day before or even a year or a month or, or a week ago. But, you know, it takes so much to make yourself available because a lot of times we, we take the back seat to jealousy and look at it as um, it's so not as important. You know, it's a little jealousy. It's like that little white lie or that little, you know, something little. But it really, it, it becomes huge because it, 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 it deals with your body internally, it deals with your mindset, it deals with your focus on what you have to do for yourself. And if you don't have the mindset and the focus, um, guess what happens? What happens is the jealousy builds itself up more and more and more and all of the stuff that you need to focus on, you kind of push it to the side, you know, you're like neglected, you ne neglected, and jealousy will do that, so one of the steps that I've learned is to question myself, ask myself, why am I um, feeling this way, and number two, in dealing with stress, um, dealing with stress, dealing with jealousy, you have to take the process of, once you find out why you are feeling this way, because it may be something that you saying, wait a minute, this person, um, don't even do this and you can do it better how do you put yourself in that position to do better you know or that you can do a little bit more than what somebody else is doing and it don't mean that you're getting the glory and those that that's the second thing the instant gratification when you have instant gratification it's self-defeating so it becomes a more jealousy thing because more you do instant gratifications it's just what the first word is instant gratification so the second thing I would tell you to do is when you deal with, when dealing with um, jealousy is to, like, like I say, look at yourself and then turn around and then ask yourself why and then research why, why. And then ask for prayers. Third thing is ask for prayers. Talk to God. I can't stress prayer so much. I cannot stress it enough because prayer changes you not nobody else it changes you and when you decide that you do not want to be jealous of a person place or thing that's just how I say it um, then it, it makes you become aware of what you do when you do it so when you feel like you in that 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 emotion of jealousy guess what happens you can pause for the moment and look at it and say okay why that's, that goes back to the first one. Then you go and you say, you know what, Lord? I need you to help me understand where this is coming from and why am I feeling this way, if that's the why you want to ask. You know, and then, you know what? Once you start doing that process of praying and talking to God on a daily basis, you're, 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 all the things that you feel about that person, place, or thing kind of dissipates itself. It moves itself, and you learn differently. You learn process differently. You learn that I should be happy for my friend. 
I should be ecstatic for my friend. I should be joyful because whoever it is, whatever it is, the person place to think, I want joy in my life. So if I got, I need joy, I got to give joy. So that's my tip. That's my tip. So I want you to tell me, tell me what, how do you deal with jealousy? How do you deal with it when you are going through it? And I know y'all going to tell me, oh, I don't deal with it because God know God made me amazing. Listen, I understand God made you amazing, but he sure did give you emotions. And trust me, those emotions kick in when you are at your weakest. When you feel like you are not on a high, when you are on a low. And that's when the devil steps in and make you jealous. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not yelling. I love y'all. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, so examine. Examine yourselves. Examine yourselves. I will see you guys on Tuesday. I mean, Lord have mercy, on Monday. I will have two college college young girls um, here um, talking about this very subject. It's going to be interesting. I will see you guys. Have a great weekend. Have a fun Friday. Don't let jealousy ruin your life. Don't let jealousy steal your joy. Don't let jealousy of people, place, and things take over who you are because you are a child of God. And as I always say, God is in control. Make a relationship with him, and I promise you, I promise you, it will change your life. This is Lady TJ from home. About to get out and do some last-minute stuff. But tune in to TNT Gospel Radio. Don't just tune in when we're having just shows. Tune in just to hear the music. You need an uplift for the day. Tune in to TNT Gospel Radio. We have great programming. Yes, yes. We have all these great shows. Yes, yes. But we have great music. And I want when you get up out of your bed and, and you on your way to work, you saying, okay, guess what? I'm plugging in. I'm plugging in the TNT Gospel Radio. I'm listening to them. I'm letting them know that I'm listening. I'm listening. So like our Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter. We are on Tune, tune In now so you can get that app. We are on these other apps, man. We are on, we are on Windows Media. We are on iTunes. We are just broadening ourselves so, so that we can get this stuff out to you guys. But I can't. I, we can't move forward. If you're only listening to our programming when different shows come on. We need you guys on a consistent basis listening to TNT Gospel Radio for the music as well. I love you. I said that in love, right? I hope so. I'm just saying. Because I do love y'all. I do. I do. I do. I'm just saying. I love y'all. Lady TJ, I'm calling it a day. I will talk to you guys on Monday. Please tune in, but just tune in anyway. All right. Peace. Bye.